What's up, Young Hollywood? It's yours truly, Jason Rulo here. About to go make it happen in the studio. Apparently, there's a bar inside the Young Hollywood studio. There wasn't a bar last time I came here. What? Hey, how are you? Good, good to see you. Oh my gosh, look at your bling. Um, where's the bar, though? <laughs> this way. You see that? That's crazy. I'm here with Jason Derulo. So great to see you. Oh, likewise, likewise. We, you haven't been here for a while. It's been a couple of years. It's been a couple of years. They now got a bar out. here, guys. They got a bar. Okay, so we're asking celebrities. So we're gonna ask you. What's up? What's the Jason Derulo drink? Because when people come in and we say, "What's what do we what do you have on the menu?" We want to say, "What's the Jason Derulo? What would be your drink? What's in it?" I'm a I'm a vodka soda kind of guy. It's keeping it simple. Yeah. Are you throwing lime in there? Lemon? Oh yeah, I throw a little lime, a little lemon. That just gives it the extra little zing. So you've had a lot going on. I did. You are back though. I'm back. And you walked in, and I'm like, okay, you've had, you know, you've been through this neck injury, mm -hmm. and you were in incredible, incredible shape, better oh, shape than you. most people. So I know you've talked a little bit about, like, sort of coming back and how you sort of kept strong and how you, you know, mentally, I'm sure, is really, really tough to stay positive. Did you have a lot of people around you helping you? Was it more like an internal thing? I think it was a, a combination of, of my family being there, um, my loved ones, and then being able to make music at the same time. Every day, you know, it was me in the studio, which probably prolonged my, my recovery process because I'm a mover. So, like, if I'm in the studio, I'm just like, and that's not what you're supposed to do. You know, <laughs> you're not neck. supposed to be doing this when you have a, <laughs> neck, a neck injury. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, that was like helping me cope with everything that was going yeah. on. Um, so, yeah, crazy little experience there. So, the other side, your new single. Yeah. It's so fantastic. Every, Thank you. I can put it on for 10 seconds and it's in my head the rest of the day. Oh, uh, that's awesome. So, this, the song is about taking a girl out of the friend zone, mm -hmm. moving it into the romantic area. Yeah. So, what is your biggest tip for a guy out there or maybe a girl? that's in the friend zone that wants to move to the other side well, is it the wine is it a date is it a i mean look? wine always helps of course <laughs> okay but like during conversation like you know just like a simple like putting your hand on the knee you know what i'm saying like little whispers like if it's loud in the club if you're in somewhere like a little whisper like that you know it just kind of slowly takes things a little closer you know some some Kind of like in that little bubble that you wouldn't normally. Uh, you just in. sort of do something yeah. you wouldn't have done before. Now, Absolutely. do you always have to have that little sign from the girl, though? What if you weren't getting that signal? Do you still go for it? No, you don't. You don't need the sign. Yeah. <laughs> really? No. Nah. I mean, as a man, I mean, you kind of want to take control and and make it happen sometimes, you know? You know, we've interviewed you so many times. Mm -hmm. We've kind of been following your, the evolution of your career, and we have a clip from an interview that you did with no, us a don't. couple years ago. No, you don't. And you sort of <laughs> talked about the evolution of in one of your albums, so it's behind you on the monitor. Oh, great. What can we expect from all the other songs on it? Expect reinvention. I try to try to reinvent myself every time. So like, you know, if you're at a red light, you listen to Jason Derulo, somebody may think you're listening to like a techno artist. If you stop at the, the next red light, you know, it's gonna be totally different. Wow. I love the red light theory, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Is that still a goal, sort of having everything from album to album, having your sound evolve and within the album? Absolutely. Um, well, it, it was easier to evolve this time because of my accident. Yeah. And the fact that my life kind of just like flipped, to took a totally different uh, route. So, so the things that I'm writing about is, is are totally different. It's definitely more personal. I wanted people to get to know me. You know, it's it's not chasing the hit on this album. Right. It's, it's really a, a personal record. I know you're gonna be performing at Wango Tango. Yeah. It's the Ryan Seacrest event. There's gonna be so many great artists there, like Maroon 5, Britney Spears, Bruno Mars, I mean, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do yeah, you, cool. like, cause I know in the past two you've toured with Gaga, and do you, like when you go to these events or you go and you perform with other artists, are you ever like the guy, like a nerd, like a fan guy that sees somebody and goes, oh, I wanna hang out with that person? Or do you kinda just do your own thing? You know, I'm, I'm a very, uh, to myself kind of guy. I'm, I'm just like that naturally. It's, yeah. it's not it's not because I don't want to necessarily. I don't know, for some reason, I'm just kind of like to myself and I'll, I'll just be chilling in my dressing room and and that's okay. Have you been starstruck by anybody? Either an yeah. actor or a musician? Who sort of have you met that? Um, 
We went to um, Quincy Jones's uh, birthday party. Two tables down was just Will Smith. She's <laughs> like, it was crazy to me because I mean I grew up watching them. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Every single day I would watch his show every single day and. Um, still, to this day, he's one of my favorite actors. And I know you're going to be on Dancing with the Stars, and then there's the E story is coming out, the Your yeah, Story. The, the e. Untold Story. The Untold Story. Can you tell yeah. us anything about the Untold Story? Well, I mean, I, I just always felt like, you know, people felt that, you know, they know Jason Derulo as the guy on the radio, um, but don't necessarily know who he is as a person, don't know his background, don't know where he's come from. Um, so this was uh, my way of, you know, kind of giving them my whole story, my whole backstory, and you know how I got to be where I am today, and uh, also with my injury, you know, through the recovery process, you know, all of that stuff was kind of crazy. So yeah, because you've been doing it since you were a kid. So what is the key to sort of keeping it going? And it's uh, to continue to to grow. You know, if you think you have it, if you think you're good, that's when you start to uh, fall backwards. You know, and if you're at a, a stoplight. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.